Here's an example, and this is not my own. This is attributed to Bernstein. And it goes like this. Show that x1, x2, and x3 with a joint probability mass function given below are pairwise independent but not mutually independent. So the joint probability mass function of x1 and x2 and x3 is 1 fourth and that is for x1, x2, x3 an element of these four points. Well the four points are 1, 1, 0 and that's given right here and 0, 1, 0 that is given right here and then 0, 0, 1 that's given right here and finally 1, 1, 1 is given right here. So each one of these four points has a weight of 1 fourth. Now without loss of generality I am going to consider here only x1 and x2. It would be perfectly fine to also consider x1 and x3 or x2 and x3 but once you get the hang of this for x1 and x2 you'll see how things work. Step one here will be to find the joint probability density function of x1 and x2. Geometrically what you're doing you can think of it as putting a, a flashlight way up high and shining it down on this distribution. Well what will happen is this point right here will drop down into the x1 x2 axis and this point right here which has weight one fourth will also drop down into the x1 x2 plane. Now we have four points one, two, three, and four that are all have weight one fourth. So based on that, on the next page, go ahead and write the joint probability mass function of x1 and x2 will be one fourth, and that is for x1 is equal to 0 and 1 and for x2 also equal to 0 and 1. Now the next step is to take that one step further and try to find the marginal distribution of x1 and the marginal distribution of x2. Geometrically the way that is done is we now have four points down here in the x1, x2 plane. To find the marginal distribution of x1 you project those points from right to left. You put them back onto the x1 axis. So the 1 fourth plus the 1 fourth will give you a 1 half right here and the 1 fourth that is here plus another 1 fourth will give you 1 half right here on these axes and because of that you have 1 half is the marginal probability mass function for x1 and one half is the marginal probability mass function for x2. Because of that, since the joint distribution f of x1, x2 is equal to the product of the marginal distribution for x1 and the marginal distribution for x2, which is to say one fourth is equal to <clears throat> one half times one half. The conclusion there is x1 and x2 are pairwise independent. Now that same line of reasoning could have been executed on x1 and x3 and on x2 and x3 and it turns out all three of those variables are pairwise independent. So the next question here is whether or not these variables are mutually independent. And there are actually two different ways of answering this question and both of those different ways will give you the answer no. The first way of answering it no is to look at this 
region script A, which are these four dots here where they're defined, that is not what is known as a product space. That is not a rectangular region in three dimensions. And so because of that, we can say no, because script A is not a product space. So you can do it by inspection here without calculating marginal distributions and such. Product space. The second way of coming up with the answer no is you look at the joint distribution f of x1, x2, x3 and you know that that is one-fourth and that is not equal to the product of the marginals which you can see up here are one-half and because of that the random variables are not mutually independent. So here is a case where you have random variables that are pairwise independent but are not mutually independent and that is what gave us the notion uh, several slides back is that mutually independent implies pairwise independent but pairwise independent does not imply mutually independent.